Okay, so the first thing you do is you brown up some uh, breakfast sausage. And then over here, Sue is getting ready to toss in some stuff. So we got bacon. Three quarters of a pound of bacon. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, you got to get an, uh, a release from your doctor before you can eat this because of the amount of cholesterol. Next. Sue is cutting up some hash browns. So we're going to put some Thawed. hash browns in there. Thawed hash browns, yes. That's it. Dump them in there. Got to moosh them around, don't we? Well, the gloves are over there somewhere. Okay. So basically what you do is you mix this all up. And I guess this is the base layer or whatever. So underneath the cast iron pot I put a ring of charcoal. So alright, so there's that. Next is going to be the eggs. So I've got to stop for a minute and help her with the eggs. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, once we get the base layer in there, we do some eggs. And uh, I was watching this on t YouTube. And since we're doing, what do we do? Ten eggs? Yeah. Rather than mixing them up, making scrambled egg in a bowl, we put them in a one gallon plastic bag in, moosh them. So, um, that's pretty cool. Now we gotta stir this up, don't we? Uh, you can, yeah. Okay, well give me the spatula. Go ahead and stir this up. And it's got an eggshell in it. Ah, get rid of that. Okay, let's get it stirred up. Okay, that looks good. It looks like I may need to check the uh, coals on the bottom. So I'll let that cook for a little while and then we got to put a little bit of a surprise on top. Okay, so you put a little ring around the top of charcoals like this and you put the lid on. I think we got too much charcoal. And um, Sue's thinking I got too much charcoal, but the thing is, these are real small pieces of charcoal. We're going to end up having to change them out. So let's go ahead and... We're going to do something a little different here. We're going to cheesify it. Okay, everybody, I forgot to uh, show you putting the cornbread on. But, as you can see, we put cornbread on top of everything, and now Sue's going to add something else. More cheese, of course. This is a 12-inch Dutch oven. Put a lot of cheese in. Just dump it on there, Sue. Now we need some for the the pizza. Oh, we don't. We didn't bring enough cheese. I guess we didn't bring enough cheese. Okay. That's fine. All right. So what we'll do is we'll spread that around, put the lid back on for about 15 minutes, and then it's supper time, or well, breakfast time. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay. Here we go with the reveal. And dum da da. Mm. Oh my goodness! Watch yourself, Susie. I don't want to burn you with the lid. Oh boy. Too bad this thing doesn't have smell-o-vision, because boy, that smells good. Now, you take it and set it off to the side for about 15 minutes. So, and then we're going to dig in. I'll cut some open, and we'll see how it looks. All right, here we go. We're ready for the big reveal. She's going to cut her out a chunk. It looks fantastic. Comes out really good, that's good. All right, and let's hold it up here so I can see it. Okay. It's hot. And there it is, I bet it tastes as good as it looks too. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm shutting this off because I'm gonna go eat. See ya. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here comes our second attempt at using the Dutch oven. We are going to make a mitza. Basically, it's pie crust, um, tomato sauce. sauce with Italian sauce or uh, Italian seasoning. We got Italian sausage, about three quarters of a pound of bacon. Yep. Um, then we got mozzarella cheese, hamburger. provolone cheese, hamburger. And just onions, looking, a little, little bit, bit of onions, because I'm not a big onion fan. But just looking at this thing's making my arteries harden. So, <laughs> 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 so anyway, we will be throwing this over here on our pie pan as soon as my charcoal is ready. So, and then it's going to have to cook about 50 minutes to an hour, I think. And then we'll take it off, take the lid off. Throw some more cheese on top, put it on for another 15 minutes to melt the cheese, and then let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes to set up, which is going to be the toughest part. So anyway, we'll see you when, uh, when we go to take the top off and put the cheese on. Okay, well, here we go with the big reveal, Mitsa Mitsa Pizza. Oh my. Oh yes. Now we have to put the... Now we got to put the cheese on top and then put it in there for another 15 minutes or so. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there is the finished product. She's going to cut out a slice here and then we'll take a look inside. It's mighty tasty, you ask me. How's the crust? It feels, it feels firm. And did we burn it? I don't know. That's kind of what we were worried about, right? Yeah. Take a look at it. Where's the spatula at? Right here. Okay. Oh my. Yes, sir. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm going to have a stroke from the cholesterol right now. So anyway, that was our second dish and it's gonna be yummy i'm gonna go eat now see ya <laughs>